are here with us on a very, very big day because we are kicking off the show with some big, big breaking news. It was just announced that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his wife, Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, are separating. I know. I know. Yeah, this was just announced. They've been married for 18 years. Um, and they announced their separation via Instagram, saying that they remain, quote, a close family with deep love and respect for each other and asking for respect and privacy for the well-being of their children. There are jaws that are still on I the know. floor. I know we broke that news to you for a lot of you here. Uh, Naomi, we'll kick this off with you. This is big. I mean, it's big political news, but it's just kind of big news. We don't get a lot of this kind of um, news in Canada a lot. So mm -hmm. what's your reaction to this? I mean, firstly, I want to thank Justin for having that news on my day on the social media. <laughs> <laughs> I was needing an extra little kick, so thank you for that. Um, I think kind of tacky on Instagram, personally. Like, I don't think that's the way you talk about personal stuff. I think some people do, but... What would you think, really... like a press release or like a... Yeah, like, I think, I mean, gosh, that house must be so sad, right? Like, yeah. Like, those are two smart people. They must have really tried hard to make their relationship work, and now it couldn't, so they're... This is where they're at. So I don't know. I think it's a really sad time. And I don't think it's something to just be like, it's a press release and it's Instagram. I mean, they're already talking about it in, in like Tinder and they're making like jokes about he's back on Tinder. And I'm sure, I'm sure there's people in the audience right here. There's people in the audience out there that are like, oh, oh. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the market. In oh, like, so what do you need for rebound time? Yeah. <laughs> is that bad? Oh, I'm you're not already there, Naomi. I'm married. I'm, married. I'm, I'm not interested. Course. But I'm sure there's a couple people that are like, boo, but not boo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we can all understand that, um, you know, life in a marriage, any relationship is very, yeah. very hard. Yeah. Life uh, in a marriage in the public eye is even harder. Right. Life in a marriage, in the public eye, and being in politics yes. is next level. And I think that, I don't know if there was a part of me that kind of got swayed by this American style of politics and marriage where the women often will sort of stick it out no matter what the allegations are, no matter yeah. how terrible of a person we think somebody is, the first name that comes to mind is Melania. And yeah. we think, girl, you should be getting out now. Yeah. And she's holding firm. And so I would think that this is a break from so many expectations in that some people might be like, you know, you just kind of stick it out until whatever the end is. But I it, really respect them that they're doing this while he's in office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have three young children two of which have only known a life of their father as a politician. I will talk as a parent that my heart really, really feels for those kids. It can't be easy being their kids anyway because your dad is the prime minister. Now this is going to be next level for them. Their, son, their youngest son is my daughter's age. They're only a week apart. Mm -hmm. And I just think of my daughter, like she's not emotionally able to handle this. So I just hope everyone does actually heed the call and give them respect. Yeah. And I just hope that everybody at their schools kind of backs yeah. off because you know how kids are. Oh. So, you know, to your point, yeah, it's on Instagram, but it kind of, it's so public. It's, yeah. He's our prime minister. So I hope we do give them the respect they deserve, especially the kids right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I wonder if being on Instagram too is also, it's all, for me, it almost feels more personal in a sense because that's where a lot of people sort of share their personal lives with each other. We feel like we know people that we don't actually know yeah. via Instagram. So there does seem to be a level of personal via that platform. But I'm just thinking, has this ever happened before? With like, his dad? I think his dad. Oh, his dad. He's maybe yeah. the only other prime minister that separated from his wife. She wanted to pursue a career. And I think that's maybe, that's I, I find that a little odd or Ooh. hard to wrap my head yeah. around that that precedent was his own father. Mm -hmm. I think also like, I mean, the fact of the matter is he is the prime minister of the country. And so I wonder if there are any uh, political takeaways from this, signs here, because you know, when you were talking about how hard it is to be in the public eye and then how hard it is to be public in the public eye when you're a couple involved in politics, my mind went straight to Barack and Michelle Obama. Mm. And the reason why is because Barack Obama was not too long ago on a press tour for a book. And he went to go talk to Stephen Colbert and he talked about how Michelle has never forgiven him for running for president after she was like, I don't want you to. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Right, oh. and we all know, like towards the end of the Obama presidency, nobody was happier than Michelle Obama. Yeah. I mean, she was ready to have a party. Do you remember mm -hmm. the look on her yeah. face, the relief? She was like, I am ready to get out of this house. Like, get like me out of here, right? her body language changed even, And yeah. so I think about that in relation to our country. Mm -hmm. um, in the US, you can only, you know, hold the office for two consecutive terms, eight years. But in Canada, you can, in theory, be yeah. the prime minister indefinitely, mm -hmm. so long as you're party wins the the general election. Yeah. So perhaps it was one of those situations where that life is, imagine staring down, like they're young. Yeah. When he was a young prime minister and he's been prime minister for what, eight years? Mm -hmm. So he's already been prime minister for eight and he's young. He could be possibly, who knows, and the prime minister for another, I don't know, 10, 50, who, like it, yeah, there's no limit. Know. She so, couldn't see a light at exactly. the end of the tunnel. Yeah. But does that politically signify that Justin Trudeau intends to run for, like to be, remain in this position? He wants to keep going and going and going. Like from the political I mean, he's never said angle. that he wouldn't. Yeah. No. And that is so that mistakes. he wouldn't. Like that kind of thing doesn't happen without a lot of strategy around it. You know. I like, mean, the politicking is already happening, unfortunately, because a lot of people are already saying politically, is his eye on the ball? There's a lot going on at home. Is he going to be able to govern the way he needs to govern? The party's really low in the polls. Oh, like, yeah. the, the woman treatment is happening. Pardon the me? woman treatment. The woman treatment. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can call it that. But I think yeah. that's going to be the next chapter in all of this is how does this affect his uh, governing as yeah. a prime minister? I think so. it's good, though. I think that they probably worked hard and now they came to a place, as they said, like we had some hard discussions. And this is where we're at. Like some people stay married for the wrong reasons. And I think it's That's a really smart. good point. Yeah. They, they And this didn't happen. They didn't have this talk last night. No. Right. Presumably. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, and oh, then well, let me just draft in. something yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. Um, all right. So that's the breaking news, wow. folks, that we're starting with here on Couple the show. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.